Hi, so just a quick video to demonstrate and introduce the brand new performance range of laser distance sensors from Bauma. Here I have the OM30 and this particular version here is the um, line beam plot version, 50 to 350 mil sensing range with a analog current output, so 4 to 20 milliamps. You can see here the dimensions of the sensor are quite small. LED and teach button up the back and the triangulation emission point and receiving sensing element there on the front. So yeah, very good performance on dark and light shiny products. And what I aim to do is just give you a quick demonstration of the analog output, how to set it and some of the features on IOLink that are available. So just to show the analog output over the 300 mil um, sensing range with a dark target. So I have my dark target here at 350 mil away from the sensor. You can see we've got our roughly 20 milliamps there. If I start to index in, you see you get a nice smooth signal all the way down to the dead zone of 50 mil and then back again the other way a nice smooth signal so to show on our nice reflective white target again the 300 mil uh, sensing range that it's got so from 350 mil away from the sensor we get close to our 20 milliamps with my uh, uncalibrated setup. But if I index in, you'll see you get a nice smooth signal over the range on that milliamp output, all the way down to four milliamps, and then back again the other way. Again, a nice smooth signal. So 50 to 350 mil away from the sensor, you've got your 4 to 20 milliamp, and of course that can be scaled wherever you wish. So the sensor can be set up uh, to have a zero point anywhere within its range. And uh, it's quite easy to do uh, via IOLink or just by the teach button at the back of the sensor. Uh, so you'll see at this distance here, we're getting around 13 milliamps. All I need to do to uh, engage the teach is to press the button at the back so and then press and hold for two seconds one two and you'll get some blinking on the back of the sensor and then all you do is press after those two seconds the button again briefly and you can see now that it's set that as our zero point and the four milliamps is now showing. So previously 13 milliamps, now at this distance, we've set our zero points on the analog signal, hence giving us four milliamps at that range. Okay, so to set a reduced range of the analog output, uh, again, very straightforward. You can do via IOLink, of course, but uh, by a simple teach button, you can see at full range we've got our 20 milliamps roughly. If I press the button at the back of the sensor and then press and hold for one, two, three, four seconds, I now can say set uh, one point here, press the button at the back and then Set it at my second range and tap again. And there you can see now we've got our 20 milliamps all the way down to our 4 milliamps that I set there. So nice and easy to do via the teach button at the back of the sensor.
So now that I have the sensor connected to the IOLink uh, device tool here, uh, you can see for the common features what the sensor has. So just an indication of the outputs. So the white wire gives us the analog output and the black wire here gives us the switched output and also the IOLink output of the sensor. So it's a standard M8 four pin connector on the back of there. So let's uh, have a look at the process data and what's able to be changed on the sensor. So here we go. <clears throat> you can see the distance output there. And uh, if you divide that number uh, by 1000, you get uh, <clears throat> 183.291 millimeters. And uh, also the quality bit, quality bit and uh, distance output information. Uh, you can turn the laser on and off as well. Uh, the identification tags, of course, by the IR link information. And then as we go into the parameters, like I said, <clears throat> the distance we've got the sensor mounted, the uh, rate at which the measurement is being taken. And of course, you can do some resetting and changing of parameters from this point here. So uh, some interesting things that you can change is how you sample. So um, you can set intervals or just free running. So the frequency is set by the sensor or you can say, take a reading every so many milliseconds or seconds. Uh, you can teach zero uh, point as I did physically with the button, but now you can do it via the IO link command here and teach that as zero. And here you can uh, set the actual uh, switch point um, of the sensor, whether you want it on or off at a certain point. More window. So you can change it to active high or active low, and you can change it from uh, single point to window or vice versa. And these are the switch points that you'd put in. So if you wanted the output to come on at say 200 mil away from the sensor, or in our case, say maybe 180 mil from the sensor, you can set it there and switch that to point and the output will come on at that point. Uh, if you want it as window, so you can say anywhere between, for example, uh, 180 mil to 200 mil is okay, but outside of that range is no good. So change it to window. So the output will stay the same, uh, stay on between those two points, and then turn off outside of those two points. And you'll see that physically uh, shortly. And then you can set the range. Uh, for the minimum scale of um, the analog output and the maximum scale of the output. And you can say what you want the physical output to give you an output for. Is it the alarm? Or is it you want it as a switch state? So the switch state is what we would want if we wanted to uh, switch the sensor on and off for the physical output outside of those points rather than the alarm state. The analog output can be set as well, and that can be the scale that you want of four to 20 milliamps or two to 10 milliamps. And of course you can set where you want the analog range to start and finish. And so you can go to the diagnosis tab here and you can see all the information that you expect from an IR link sensor and also the histogram information is stored here that you can then output. And then of course is the generic um, IR link information here as well. Going back to process data, <clears throat> you can see the distance and the physical outputs of true or false here. 
So you can see that the sensor was set up with uh, a working range of 180mm to 200mm for its switched output and we were at 183mm. So if I now bring this disc closer, you can see that the output goes off. Let me show you a bit clearer and then back in, you see the output stays on. So it's on, off, on, off. So via the IR link settings, we switched the capability of the switching point of the sensor from alarm to a physical distance switch to turn on and off at a single point or between a range, uh, a window, so to speak. And I set the window between 180 and 200 mil as okay and no good outside of that. So the output's on here now because we're at 183 mil. I bring something closer, the output turns off. So just to summarize, uh, the Baumer's performance range of laser distance sensors, the new OM20 and OM30 are a great uh, performance laser distance sensor with analog output, current and uh, voltage versions available. So zero to 10 volts or four to 20 milliamp versions. Also with the uh, IO-Link uh, communication and parameterization on board, um, some great little features on there. And also the addition of a output so it allows you to switch at a specific distance. So this is a line version beam spot here that we have, but there is point versions available as well.